navel shaped. Navel like belly button. The origin of tortellini is obscure. I think that's how you say it. Although many legends lay claim to the origin of it. A strong Local tradition has it that this dish was born in Castel Franco, Emilia, Provence, province of Modena. I think you actually call it Provence now. I think not Modena. Mm. Mm. A tortellini. Tortellini, tortellini. Please forgive me for my Italian pronunciation. Remember what I read to you earlier? Um, it says originally from the Italian region of Emilia, in particular, particular. Mm. I have to look this up again and um, Mordena I think you say I have to look this one up again originally from the Italian region of Emilia in particular Bologna and Mordena they are usually served in broth either of beef, a chicken, or both. Tortellini Tortellini Tortellini, Tortellini, Tortellini Originally from Italian region of Emilia from Originally from the Italian region of Emilia Mm, what a beautiful name. That was my aunt's name, Emilia. Actually, Emilie. That's good. Let me tell you a little bit of a story. In about 1909, there was a man and a woman. A male and a female, or female and a male. Yes, the female was my great grandmother. And 
and she lived in Germany. She was very young. She fell in love with a foreigner. Must have been an Italian man. Working there in Germany. They made love. They loved each other. When she got pregnant, guess with who? With my grandmother. My great grandmother. Yes, my grandmother. Was a beautiful woman. But my great grandmother did not marry the what I thought was an Italian man. Nobody ever talked about this secret. I didn't know about it all my life. And one day I looked at a spaghetti sauce jar. There was a beautiful young Italian woman on the label. And I looked at it and I thought, what? This woman looks like my grandmother. Was my grandmother maybe Italian? I never wondered about anything like this. My grandmother loved me and I loved her, but she never told me that. I guess that was the family's secret. Um, soon, I guess my grandmother had already died and soon after that we went to Germany like maybe about um, a year or two later, yeah, huh? Two years later, and um, we wanted to do a family tree. My husband was interested in my family, and uh, so we asked my grandfather's sister. So my aunt, well, it was actually my, uh, we called her Dode Emilie, um, uh, which means like godmother, um, but she was really my mother's godmother, but we called her that anyway. Um, she told us all of that. Um, I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. I wish I would know the Italian word for hungry. Anyway. Anyway. I don't know why he left the Italian man is it because he was a foreigner maybe is that why she wasn't allowed to marry him I guess Germany was weird in these days my grandmother was born in 1910 and she had children during the war She had a really difficult time. Now you know why I'm one eighth Italian. And I had an Aunt Emilia. Let me show you. I'm almost done with my belly buttons. My navel shaped tortellini. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed being with me this evening. Yeah, I started reading this before. And then I think I read till here, one night during a trip, Lucrezia Borgia stayed at an inn 
in the small town during the night, the host became so captivated by Luceria's beauty that he could not resist the urge to peek into her room through the keyhole. That reminds me of the keyholes and the keys that look so different than the American keys um, that we had when I grew up. The bedroom was lit by only a few candles and so he could barely see her navel. <laughs> this pure and innocent vision was enough to send him into an ecstasy that inspired him to create the tortellini that night. <laughs> should have seen me smiling. <laughs> oh my god! Tortellini, tortellini, tortellini. I hope I say it right, because that would be a shame if I wouldn't. Tortellini. Yeah, that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it, if I wouldn't say it right. Tortellini of tortellini of Mordena. Please forgive me my Italian, like I said, another legend distinct but similar in theme originated in medieval Italy and tells how Venus and Jupiter arrived at a tavern on the outskirts of Bologna one night, weary from their involvement in the battle between Mordena and Bologna. After much food and drink, they shared a room. The innkeeper, captivated by the two, followed them and peeked through the keyhole. All he could see was Venus's navel. Let me read it to you again. After much food and drink, they shared a room. The innkeeper, captivated by the two, followed them and peeked through the keyhole. All he could see was Venus's navel. Spellbound, he rushed to the kitchen and created Tortellini in its image. Through the keyhole. Well, I guess my story time has ended. I have one more left. One more Tortellini. Tortellini. I hope you enjoyed it, my friends. I love you. Bye. Till next time.